<laughs> nice and clean. Now we don't have to wash until next year. <laughs> huh? Hello, minions. Want to play a game? Ooh, I love games. What? Oh, good. Shark! Don't worry, the shark won't hurt you. It's for the competitors. Hello, and welcome to my spooky shark farthest wins competition. Um, it's not that spooky. Hmm, you're right. Where are my eyes? Ah, oh, that's better. Now that's spooky. Ooh, can I have a costume? Yes, of course. After all, you are the judges. Well, hey, yeah. Hey, I want a costume too. Okay. Hey, 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 this isn't a costume. Make me a vampire too. Ah, <sighs> fine. Yeah, that's better. Thanks. OK, so the competitors will race down the ramp, through the shark, and whoever goes the farthest wins. But watch out, the shark's hungry, so you'll have to be quick. Right, let's begin. First up, it's Ultra. Oh no, the shark caught him. You know what that means. You're out. Goodbye. Raphael up next. He's past the shark. Ooh, not bad. That's the distance to beat. Holly shift well next. She made it through. Ooh, that's close. Judges? Um, Holly's just in front. So that means Holly's the new leader. Bye bye, Raphael. Iron Man next. Good, good. Hmm, it's close, but a bit disappointing from Iron Man. He's out. Hulk now. Ooh, the shark got him. They do say you have to eat your greens. Ha <laughs> ha. You're out, Hulk. Lightning McQueen. Through the shark. He oh, hello. That was rubbish. Goodbye. Batman. It's going well. Oh, good effort. But is it better than Holly? No, not quite. So you're out, Batman. Now it's Spider-Man, my favourite. It's going well. Oh yes, he's in the lead. Look at that. Goodbye, Holly. There's a new leader now. Wolverine next. Ouch, caught by the shark. Ouch. You're out. Sally now. Through the shark. Oh, oh dear. That was rubbish. You're out. Only two competitors left. Captain America first. Pa 
past the shark. Oh, it's close, but not good enough, so you're out. So, only Superman can beat Spider-Man, will he? Oh, it's close. It's very close. Judges? Um, Spider-Man is just in front. So Spider-Man wins. Well done. Okay, that's all. Goodbye, minions. Huh? Did that just happen? Yeah. McQueen and Cruz Ramirez were training for a race. And Mater was watching. Boy, they sure are fast. Oh, McQueen, you're filthy. Come on, we can still practice, though. Yep, really fast. Yes, they are. Oh, huh? My name's Miss Fritter, and I run the Thunder Hollow Speedway. These two will be perfect for it. You think? Are they strong? The strongest. Right, I'll see you three later then. When McQueen and Cruz were done, they went back to Mater. You guys are really fast. Thanks, Mater. So I've entered you into the Thunder Hollow Speedway. What? Mater, that speedway's brutal. Oh, come on, guys. It can't be that bad. Oh, I guess it is. We need to get out of here. But before they could... Ah, you're here. We're starting very soon. Okay. I'll just wash this mud off and we'll head on in. No, no. If they know who you are, they might hit you even more. Hmm, you're right. Uh, let's head on in. Good luck, guys. Hello, and welcome to my Thunder Hollow Speedway, a.k.a. the Demolition Derby. And the contestants are APB, Dr. Damage, Cruz Ramirez, and a... Uh, Number 15. Woo, yeah, go number 15. Start your engines. And let the demolition begin. <laughs> this is brutal. We need to get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah! Thanks, Cruz. Watch out! Oh! Oh, no, you didn't! That alarm means one thing! I'm coming in! Game over, guys! Oh no, we need to get out. Look, there's a gap in the fence. We need to act quickly. But it was too late. Oh no, what are we going to do? I've got you two now. Ah! Ah! As she hit the side, the sign wobbled. That's it! That sign falls! We can use it as a ramp to get out of here! I 
I've got it. It worked. Quick, let's get out of here. No one escapes from me. But we went for it anyway. And made it. Phew. We did it. Well done, guys. You were great. But, uh, they're very angry. They approach Mater, Cruz and McQueen. Who do you think you are running away like that? It then started raining, washing all of the mud off McQueen. Huh? Your Lightning McQueen? I'm... I'm a huge fan! Oh? Really? Huh. Thanks. I'm sorry, I didn't realise it was you. Yeah, I'm sorry if I hit you too hard. Oh, no problem. So they all had a friendly chat, and Miss Fritter was actually kinder than she looked. <laughs> McQueen was about to race Mater. Minions, what colour car do you think's going to win? Brown or red? Um. Uh... Come on, let's face it, it's not a difficult question. Yay! Even I know who I'd pick. Um, brown? Brown? Minions, do you know your colours? Ah, uh, no. Well, why didn't you say so? Let's teach you the colours. Oh, thank you. So they set up a game. OK, Minions, you have to find an object for each of us that is the same colour as us and you have to tell us what colour it is. OK, got it! So they split up. <laughs> hmm, something yellow. Uh, aha! Hehehehe! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh! Quick, gotta go! OK pups, we've really got to be on the lookout today because Ultron's loose. Uh, Ryder, how can we be on the lookout? Our telescope's gone! Phew! <laughs> Yellow! Well done! But which of us is yellow? Um, Cruz. Yes, that's right. Yes. So that's one down. How's the other minion doing? Hmm, red, red, red. Maybe that's red. <laughs> Ta-da! Red! Uh, minion? That's not red. That's black. Uh, yeah, I know that. So, which one of us is black? Uh, you! Hey, that doesn't count. Paint me red again. Ah, uh, okay. That's better. Now find something that's actually red. Okay. Meanwhile. <laughs> hmm. Ah, blue. Hehe. <laughs> blue. Well done. But who is the blue car? Um. Sally. Well done! And green is... Mater! Uh, no minion, that's not correct. Now hold on, McQueen! <gasps> mm. 
Wow, Mater, how did you do that? <sighs> I just held my breath. Does it count? <sighs> I suppose so. Yes. But you're still missing something red, something purple, and something silver. Yep, yep, I'm on it. <laughs> huh? Hello? Hello? Ah! Evil purple minion! Well done! That's purple! Just like Holly. Yeah? Oh, hello! Papo! So just red and silver left. Hmm, red, red. Hmm. Ooh, Iron Man! Iron Man! You're red! Well, I'm red and gold. Yeah, yeah. Come with me, we're playing a colour game. Game? I have no time for a game. Ultron's loose. Oh. Uh. Uh, yeah. Did you just throw a stone at me? Uh, uh oh. Run! Run! Oi, come back here, minion. <laughs> run! Run! Hey, where are you, Minion? He's red for you, McQueen. That's right, Minion. Hey, I found something silver. Ahem, <clears throat> ta-da! Ultron! <laughs> Ultron? Hello, Iron Man. Got him. Does does this still count as something silver? Yes. Well done, minions. You completed the game and helped catch Ultron. Oh, it was nothing really. So let's quickly recap the colours. <gasps> Green, red, blue, purple, silver, yellow. Well done, everyone. Lots of the Cars characters were about to watch a film. They all honked their horns with excitement. What you doing, everyone? Oh, Mater, we're about to watch Cars 3. Woo, yay! What? Not cool, man. Oh no, that's my new horn. I have it while my other horn is being fixed. Shush, Mata. The film is about to start. Ah, oh, shoot. I can't watch it anyway. I have presents to give to the Earl of Sodor. These are Cars 3 Mini Racers. They could be any character from Cars 3. I just need to wait for Thomas. Okay, okay, shh. Sorry. Yay, he's here! Off we go, Thomas, to the Earl of Sodor. Whoa, well, hey! Thomas, Thomas, we ain't gonna fit through there. Thomas! Told ya. Thomas, do you like my horn? Thomas? Thomas, do you like my horn? Thomas? Ooh, don't slip, Thomas. Whoops! Thomas! Thomas! I fell off! Thomas! Come back! Mater, please stop talking for one second. It's so distracting. Next time, I'll be the one that crashes. Oh, 
great, now we're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Oh, where is Thomas and Mater? They should be here by now. Hmm, maybe we could just start without them. No, no, we can't. Mater has two presents for you. Now what do we do? No one knows we're here. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. We need to get to the Earl of Sodor soon, otherwise we'll miss it. I know, I can sound my horn. Someone will definitely hear it and come rescue us. Excellent idea, Mater. Do it. Look, I don't think Thomas and Mater are coming. I think we should just start now. Whoops, I dropped my flag. I'll just get that. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Hmm, no. That sounded like Mater's new horn. I think Thomas and Mater are in trouble. James, go and get Rocky and have a look for them. We won't start until you get back. Luckily, James did find Thomas and Mater and soon took them to the Earl. Here you go, two car street blonde bags. And Mater, I have a present for you too. A brand new horn! Aw, thanks! Now let's open the blind bags. Taking this. Oh no. What do we do, Captain? Hmm. Follow that mummy. Yes, sir. Arr, <laughs> hide the treasure. He is! Ha ha! Gotcha now! Hmm, I think the treasure is in his boat. Let's ask him. Is the treasure in your boat? I'm not saying! Well, that's a yes then. But how do we get to the boat? Look! There is a sea monster in the way. Hmm. We need help. They can help us. Mater, McQueen, we need help. Huh? 
Help? What do you need help with? Our treasure was stolen by that pirate mummy. Oh no, I'm not messing with any mummies, let alone a pirate mummy. Major to the rescue! Mater, watch out for the sea monster! The what? Uh oh! He braked as hard as he could, but... The sea monster ate him! Oh no, it ate Mater! Don't worry, I can save him! Sea monster, sea monster! Yes, Minion? Eating Mater? No, Minion. Telling lies? No, Minion. Then open wide. Wah! Wah! Oof! Phew! Yuck! Thanks, Minion. We need the treasure. Well, if Mater was brave, then I should be too. Because I'll need a ramp to get over that sea monster. Ooh, I have a ramp! Why do you think? It's perfect! So they moved it into position, and McQueen went for it. Ah, that's not a ship. It's a big metal pirate skull. Guys, I think the treasure's in his hat. I'm going to jump at him again. Oh, okay. Good luck. The Queen jumped again. Got him. The skull was destroyed. But there was no sign of McQueen nor the treasure. McQueen? McQueen? Did anybody want some treasure? Yay! He did it! No! So the mummy pirate retreated back into the sea. So the minions got their treasure back and the evil mummy pirate was defeated. Hello and welcome to Bloom Bursting Battle. Each competitor will launch off round the loop-de-loop, -loop, up the ramp and into the balloon. The first competitor to pop the balloon wins and will go through to the next round until there is only one victor. They will be competing for this balloon cup. These are our competitors. Right, let's begin. Up first, Lightning McQueen versus Spider-Man. Ready, go! Oh, that was close. Let's watch it in slow motion to see who won. That was really close, but I think Spider-Man just won, so he will be going through. Next up is Black Widow versus Superman. Ready. What happened there? Looks like we're going to need slow motion to see who won. Ah, Black Widow's pin flew off and popped the balloon, meaning she will go through to the next round. What a sneaky move. Next round, Batman vs Captain America. Ready, go! Looks like Captain America's in the lead, but wait, Batman wins? Batman was quicker in the air, meaning Batman goes through. Finally, Ultron vs Aquaman. Ready, go! I can't tell who won that, but the action replay will tell us. Ooh, that was close. 
but Aquaman's just pipped it. So that concludes the first round. Here are our semi-finalists. First up, Black Widows against Spider-Man. Ready? Go! Spider-Man has stormed that race and is now qualified for the final. Next is Batman vs Aquaman. Ready? Go! Ooh, that was close. Let's see who's won. Aquaman has just sped ahead of Batman and has popped the balloon first. So it's Aquaman vs Spider-Man in the final. Ready, go! Spider-Man was quick there, but did he pop the balloon first? Action replay has shown that Spider-Man did pop the balloon first, making him the champion. What a tournament. Thanks everyone for playing. McQueen and Mater were having fun in the canyon. Mater was watching from the ground. When McQueen was done, he went straight over to Mater. You should have a go Mater, he suggested. Oh no thanks. This is way too tall and too steep for me, replied Mater. We should make our own track, said McQueen. Oh yeah, I can use material from my scrapyard, Mater replied. They were both very excited and decided to build this track the next day. But when Mater got back to his scrapyard, he was too impatient to wait for the next day. He had an idea and got to work. The next day, McQueen headed over to Mater's scrapyard. When he got there, he couldn't believe his eyes. Wow, Mater did this overnight, he cried. Mater had made a ramp, which led through a huge tyre. It had a launcher too. So McQueen, what do you think? asked Mater. It's incredible, cried McQueen. Why don't you have a go? So McQueen got in place. So you've got to jump through the tyre and land on the other ramp, reminded Mater. No problem, thought McQueen. But he didn't make it. Oof, it's harder than it looks, cried McQueen. So the two of them had fun practicing. Some other cars noticed them and wanted to join in. Of course, cried Mater. Even some superheroes noticed them and wanted to join in too. Hey, why don't we have a competition? If you don't make it through the tyre and onto the ramp, you're out. Last car standing. Everyone liked this idea. Woody and Buzz were nearby and agreed to be the judges. So they started. First up was Mater. Ooh, he made it! 
but he didn't land on the ramp properly. Judges say it's okay, so he's through. Sally's up next. Oh, where did she go? She landed on the other side of the street. She's okay, but she's out of the competition. Finn McMissile. Well, it looks okay, but the judges want to see it again. Oh, he didn't actually make it onto the ramp, so he's out. Good call, judges. Now McQueen. Oh no, he surprisingly wasn't going fast enough. Sorry, McQueen. Spider-Man next. Oh, brilliantly done. He's through. Holly now. She's done it too. Well done. Iron Man. Oh dear, what happened there? He just didn't get going. He's out. And finally, it's Superman. Well, that wasn't good. So only Mater, Spider-Man and Holly made it. They now all have to do it again, until we get a winner. Mater first. Oh no, he got stuck in the tyre. Oh well, close one though. Spider-Man to go second. He did it! So now Holly has to make this or Spider-Man wins. Oh well, she did make it. Back to Spider-Man's turn. Oh no, he missed! Oh dear! So if Holly makes this, she wins! Yes, she's done it! Well done, Holly! Everyone had had a lot of fun, and they had all thanked Mater for a fantastic day. Put us down! Put us down! cried McQueen. These teeth are hurting! said Mater. Frank was enjoying this. You have got the remote control for these robots, haven't you, Mater? said McQueen. I knew I'd forgot something! said Mater. Oh no! said McQueen. Do you think they've been caught because they're spies? said Holly Shiftwell. Those two? No, said Finn McMissile. Stop messing around, said Sally. I wish I could, said McQueen. OK, I suppose I've had my fun, thought Sarge, and he moved forwards. I've got the control. Now brace yourselves. Thanks Sarge, said Mater and McQueen. Hey, said Sally, we could make a great racetrack with these robot dinosaurs. I wonder if our superhero friends would be too scared to race said Mater. The course involved jumping through one dinosaur's mouth and landing at the other's feet. The fear didn't scare the superheroes. They nearly all turned up. OK, let's go, said Sarge. Sally started and made it easily. Iron Man next. He bounced and turned over, but that's OK. Captain America. A perfect jump. Finn McMissile. He bounced off the dinosaur's leg. Ooh, that hurt the dinosaur. Wonder Woman. She did a somersault, but that's OK. Superman. 
Very smooth. Spider-Man. Also very smooth. Don't annoy the dinosaur, Frank. Holly Shiftwell. Not the landing she wanted, but a good jump. Wolverine. Bounced on landing, but okay. Batman. Now he went for a roll, but it's still okay. Mater. That was actually a very good jump. Thor. Very smooth. Ant-Man. Just clipped the teeth, did a complete somersault and carried on. Clever. Last to go, Lightning McQueen. Fast and a good jump, so everybody is through the first round. The ramp is now moved back a bit. Sally first. Ooh! Sally clipped the teeth and was thrown off course. Captain America. He got clipped as well and was taken down. Iron Man. Taken out of the air. It looks like he's being eaten. It's only a robot dinosaur though. Finn McMissile. Also taken out of the air. The other dinosaur isn't happy. He's not getting any action. Wonder Woman. She just bounced off the teeth. Superman. Somehow he wriggled through the jaw, but didn't make it as far as the other dinosaur. Wolverine. Well and truly stopped. Holly Shiftwell. Where did she go? Has she been eaten? No, there she is. She's okay, but stopped. Spider-Man. Through, just, but not as far as the other dinosaur. Batman. Definitely not through. Mater. Easily taken out of the air. Thor. Same problem as Mater. Ant-Man. The same problem as the others. So last to go, McQueen. I believe he's done it. He just clipped the teeth, but still made it to the second dinosaur. So, Sarge has declared McQueen the winner. Well done, McQueen. Thanks for watching our story. If you liked it, go on, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and then watch another story by clicking any of these pictures. See you soon.